Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Paintbrush here. Welcome to another NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. This next game, as we're about to be seeing this one, as we are calling for the next to the border of Canada and the USA. As we are seeing this next matchup coming in by, as we're about to find out who they are, the Toronto Maple Leafs are facing against the Buffalo Sabres, and they're playing at KeyBank Center in Buffalo, New York. Now, let's have a look at what they've done here for their arrival this matchup. As you can definitely tell them of what's going on, of how are they all respect on this, because of this one, the rivalry between the Buffalo Sabres and the Toronto Maple Leafs is due to the 100 mile distance between their home arenas. But they've done it respectively and they've been doing so a lot of the biggest moment. And this happened to be in 1999 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. They were happened to beat everybody out there and this was the first that the Sabres defeated the Maple Leafs in five games. In game one, the Sabres have it all that to take all of it for the 16 teams to qualify in this race. And this one turned to be one of his better runs to make the defending runs a better solution. But this final position was the runner-up against the Dallas Stars comes to an end. Where the Buffalo Sabres in the Stanley Cup Finals. So, it never does it happen again because what it does really mention it before and the playoffs was really turning to be one of it as all at the same time. But I can't really say what else are they. They're nothing but they really wanted to do, and they really haven't gotten anything. Well, here's what they haven't never won the Stanley Cup. Vancouver Canucks, Buffalo Sabres, Florida Panthers, Ottawa Senators, San Jose Sharks, Nashville Predators, Columbus Blue Jackets, and Minnesota Wilds. They've never won anything right at this moment because they are left alone along with the Kraken it would have started before the Winnipeg Jets and Arizona Coyotes. These are the 11 teams that they've never won the Stanley Cup before but they are looking to get into the uh, conference to start things off. Maybe who will be on the next runner up? We don't know because they have got another one to try to take them over from here. Well, as of right now Let's get into this. The starting goaltenders in between of Santanov and the other player from the Buffalo Sabres, we have is Uko Pekka Lukinen. Now for standing by, I will have his son of Beast. And he will be also with a lot of the report with the other uh, recruits of OJ. And finally, the center ice will be Gangsta Beast. And yes, the first commentary, I will include that. And that will be Lightbulb. Let's get into the game, folks, and I'll see you all later after the full game regulation. Hello, everyone. It's Son of Beast here, as right now we are at Key Bank Center. The Buffalo Sabres are ready to take on their rival matchup against the Maple Leafs. Along with me, Son of Beast, along with OJ and Lipo, this is NHL on EA Sports. We bring these on here in Buffalo and we are underway. Here's the starting group. Riley starts things off right now as Galeen will have that puck. Right toward the right side of the boulder. He brings up to a stop. Here's Skinner. He brings it back over to Galeen. Galeen wraps him up and goes down. Tucker gets him again. Touch the rainbow. He scores! Start range for the Buffalo Sabres, and they have that one with the start of a one nothing lead. Now let's look at it over here because Alex Touch really had turned that one over. After a rebound, he went right in between. That was tricky in the crease in, and he went passing right towards Samsonov. I don't know if you have ever saw that was coming in there, but that was like a tricky one. And then the motion was really the hard. The painful is that part of the questionary is like, did Touch to ever get past the crease in the line? He may be a very tough one and he could try to like keep on passing it if he definitely does that one anyway. I never seen what was going to happen like that because that was really that close. Never seen what was going to happen like this, but it all definitely turns out that it was going to be a stop run. 
Here's Marner, he'll have that puck. He lost that one as Touch takes it over. He now has it over again to Cousins. Cousins on the right wing inbound, and now inside. Transition to move, steps it up, makes a big save. 18.03 to go in the first period of the game. Start with the one nothing of the Buffalo Sabres. Here they are ready to take the face off here, just, just coming down here for the next one to take the win. The win puts up for the Maple Leafs. Here's the lander, he will have that puck in, in his possession. Goes right around the net. Here's Johnson, he will have that puck right again to Homestead. Middlestad lost that one. We're down to the video shot. It's stopped by Levi. That'll be your first uh, play of all as this one will be stopping at like 17.29 to go. And right now they're ready to take another face off. Unfortunately, Luka didn't want to be able to play with the, with the Buffalo Sabres, but with that being said, I can tell right now that he's already like on a secondary lineup just in case if he gets out there out. Paterka lost that puck and Nylander will have that with a playable bound. Oh, nice shot! Levi takes a save! 17 05 left to go in the first period, and it's still a 1 0 game. With the win for Milstein, he breathes it over to Johnson. Johnson on his way down to Benson. Benson went down! For Jersey, takes it over to Nylander. And now onto the left wing, he gives over to the big shot. That shot went wide, and right next to Levi. Power, and this one goes in, and it's off by Levi. He's making that one here good, just to keep that one here for a Levi pressure. You know, this offense has really been taking things over, but they wanted to like keep him out of here just the right time. That's a hard one to take, but don't get a good questionnaire of what could happen now. Power gets to Johnson. Wide to the right wing, he gives it Krebs. Out of shot, sends it a save. Krebs trying to back it up. Toronto has that puck in position, and now Marner gets the knees. Knees in the breakaway chain. Levi with the save. Johnson right towards the back of the left. He now has it across. McCann takes the puck over, and now finding knees. 15 minutes remaining in the first period, as right now Touch takes it over again to Cousins. Cousins right toward the right wing. And this one stopped again by Sentinel. Brody has that one in cover, now finding again the knees to Marner. Back to knees. Loses the puck possession. Buffalo had the puck here in bounds. Now the Sabres will take it in the Leafs territory. Cousins making his way down. The cover and bound! It's sets it off save. Matthews trying to take the puck. Now back to Gordano. Now again to knees. Nice, right over into the left wing of the territory. Going in front. Levi with the stop pass save. You know, this one's going to be a very tough for that call, and you know, that Samson up really got that with a lot of impressive save. But as for Levi, he really had a lot of it taken over as responsible. But that wasn't really the case where he was going to get there right in point. And that really got to tell them out. And I really have no idea. They were really trying to like pick them back up again. It was hard enough to try to take them out, take them out and over it. But nothing was killing them all. They're trying to do this and they are trying to get away with that one. It's a hard one if they are just trying to leave them off. Domi right into the left wing, and Levi stopping the save. Here's another one, and Levi with covers up the puck. 12.27 left to go in the first period. Just a one nothing lead for Buffalo. Now officials are getting set here, ready for the faceoff, but to be dropped. With that one, the lead takes it back. Lagsin's shot gets blocked up in front of it, and now it goes back over again to Bura. Samuelson will have that puck. Miro again to Akposo. Akposo lost the puck as Klingberg gives it over to Gregor. Gregor toward the right wing shot. Levi save. 11.46 to go in the first period. It still comes in right now for just only one nothing. They're still ready for another face off as this one will be another one to take. The full pressure is on for the Maple Leafs. Laxon gives it McMahon on a shot. Levi save. Takes another one. Big spill. But good save by the goaltender. They really are trying to make that one good. And you know that Levi was definitely trying to keep that one right inside. It was really that tough. Not really everyone's favorite. Turned to be like it's a good chain to keep eyes on the one. 
teams are set, ready to take the face off. Only 11 6 to go in the first period. The Maple Leafs wins the face off. McCab lost that fuck. It's Maturka trying to battle it back. Give over to Giordano. Here's Maturzi right toward the center. Maturka takes the puck still and now find Mattelstack. Here's Stack to Johnson. Now I'm flinging it over again to Benson. Here's Maturka. Right toward the slot. It is a knocked away and it goes right back over again to Veers. Now he finds McCab. Milstack takes it. Close save by Zamsonov. He goes down as Nylander takes the puck. Not everyone is everyone going for, but they were really are stepping it up. It's like a full pressure, and you really wanted to make sure you get that right away. Milstack with the puck and right into the center. And a shot! Corner is out of here on the mark of the wall, and that went wide. Now for the puck to loose the chain, and now Milstack will have that puck. Here's power inside the move. That one takes a deflection that's not inside. So here's the puck with passing a midway market period. Now finds Maturzi. He goes over again to McCaff and now finding Tavirs. Goes over again to Nylander. Nylander on a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Tavirs shot and saved me by Levi. Try to regroup it. Giordano needs power. Takes it away. Johnson back over again to Greenway. Greenway looking for a bang bang tonight. Glove saved by Samsonov. 804 left to go in the first period. So one nothing game for Buffalo. Now I have to call this one Aston Matthews. Austin Matthews has a great look of it of the post or the shock it all moment. He may have it all if it takes down, but it's a lot of a worthy credit that he has it all down. Rasmus Dolin has an ultimate ranging of the sharp edges of this one, keeping that one eye right into the slot. He's looking for a good angle here to keep that one here, guys. And I'll be watching in between Erasmus Dalin and Austin Matthews. Back to you, guys. Clifton will have that puck inbound. Valley for the loose puck. Toronto gets the puck. He's on the way to get tomorrow. Shot, he scores! That one takes his call, and they tied it up by one. 169 goals for Mitchell Marner. And that one takes it over. It's a lot of great uh, credit worthy shots because of Mitchell Marner. You really got that one on the target way inbound. You know, it's a lot of great pass. After you give that one off and give to Mitchell Marner, you have that puck. Knees, he looks at an open guy. And he found it right toward the left and he gives it that one to Marner right away. That's a great shot. And that one will blind it and play tricks on him to try to keep him out. 7.13 left to go in the first period as right now the games are tied up right now for your Leafs and the Sabres here at Key Bank Center. Seven minutes to go right now as right now the Leafs will have the possession. Robertson trying to hold on to the puck. In the inbound, take a rebound and stop by Levi. Ballet for the loose puck of a chain. This one goes back to Skinner. Skinner on a full pressure head now into the Leafs territory. Riley has the puck right now, and he gives it over again to Domi. Domi on a sidestep. Sidestep over again into the corner. Find again a Robertson shot. That's stepped away in a good stop by Levi. Rory lost that puck, and it goes right back to Touch. Touch on his way down into the right wing. Tries to look for a pass to Johnson. Shot. We won't stop again by Sazanoff. Jack Rock got the puck, and now Riley will have it over again to Robertson. 5.30 left to go in the first period, and on its way down, fires a shot, and it goes wide. Now back again to Domi. Domi lost that one, and now Ocposo gives it off. Buffalo Sabres are on the attack. Giorgano has that puck, and now finding Gregor. He will have lifted up high, and it will be out of play, ready for another faceoff. Both teams are ready to be set here, with under five minutes remaining in the first period. It's still a tie game between the Leafs and the Sabres. McCap gives it over again to McMahon. He goes down. Kemp takes a rebound. McMahon tries it, and the Levi to denies it. Samuelson gives it over again to McMahon. With a deep pass, shot saved me by Levi. It's great to have that one here, and not really much that uh, everybody must be counting on. That was all it just took. That's a great stop for Levi with that pad, and that may be a tough one to keep on it. Good slam down, take away for the Buffalo Sabres as now Dolene has it. Oposo has that puck, lost that one, it's Giordano. 
And back to knees. Back to Matthews. 3.30 left to go in the first period. Try to look for an open look. Shot stopped by Levi. 3.21 left to go in the first period. Still looking for a leadoff change to go for 2-1. I don't know if I never see it like this, but it's really like a biggest hit and you're going to have to take him down. That's really hard. Don't take that credit. Mitchell Warner has a fertile ability. He might have all the takedown. When he give it off to a good run, he can try to open it clear and give a good look at the pass right open on the slot. Mitchell Warner is pretty tough there, guys. And I'll be watching right in between, and let's find out if he gets a poor eye to have that system. Back to you. Here you saw Austin Matthews right toward the slot. Backhand won't do enough as Levi grabs the save. 2.43 left to go in the first period. We're winding down for the, for the run. And now we'll be with our face-off coming in. With the win for Austin Matthews, now finding Klingberg. He loses the puck and he leaves his own. Maple Leafs are back into the offense as Laxton gives the knees. Toronto in transition looking for Klingberg. Klingberg right over again into the Buffalo territory. Trying to give a pass to Miner. Loses that one as Levi try to hold on. Matthews goes banging from the board. Looks for an open pass to Lexin. Loses that one as Millsack gives it back again to Turk Paterka. Now Benson has it in. Give off to Millsack. Reset off the shot. Rebounded in. He scores! Benson! That's where the goal starts. His first goal of his career. There might be one way, but Zach Benson had that one coming inbound, and he finally has dug it out. Welcome to the team, Benson. Yeah, it's pretty easy right now when you get that pass right away, because Benson, he really had that one way up the eight, and it just went flung right towards right by the goaltender, and it was tipping in, and just rolls it across to the net, and that was definitely a goal, but they took it here. It's a great one as Benson was really just trying to like give him a lot of perspective out of there. Just turned like it was gonna go in there. It's like wow, you gotta be kidding me because right now he finally has his first goal. It turned out that great. What a percentage and this one's a good start. Here's Cousins, he will have it right here into the right wing. And now we'll give it off the touch. Shot! It's an enough save! Just down to one minute remaining in the first period as the uh, Buffalo Sabres are up by one. Two to one in the game, ready for another faceoff. With the win for Austin Matthews and Riley will have that puck. In possession, give it over to Petruzzi. Backs up the puck. Galeen will take it over. And now Cousins has that puck in bound. In the right way, he moves in center. And pass up again by Samsonov. Galeen lost that puck as the Beers will have it. 15 seconds remaining in the first period, and now it's Petruzzi with the puck. Looking to get a tie run again in the game in the first period. Loses that one. Alex Touch on his way down in the center. Trying to beat the man. And it sends it off. Makes a save. And that will end the first period. Fencing gives a go-ahead goal. A start with an early lead. 2-1. Buffalo Sabres. Be right back after this. Welcome back to Quebec Center. As we're about to get things started in the second period. Puck drop and we are ready to go as the Buffalo Sabres and the Toronto Maple Leafs are all rehydrated and up. Let's have a recap in between as right now OJ stands by along with Lipo. Well there's one way that we have to call for this and there was one that Darlene was trying to make a setup to go with an open feed. This connection has been turning like it was a hard one to take. He scores! Alex Hutch with his two goals of his career. 1-11 in a point blank range. I've never seen that, because if Alex touched the other side, he was making a point blank out of him, he just made it out in a quick move. He just went right in the air, it says one, two, and then, then there is a plank. There it is. It just went right into the net and finally had to it out. I never saw that Alex Touch was like doing this on their own. That's a great way to make a good connection go in. Alex Touch, his second goal of the career. Looking to get his third goal to get onto it. Go for three! Samsonov takes a stop. 
A great one to take a start out of it for the Buffalo Sabres in the second period. Of Alex Such to get three goals in his game. But it's stopped again by the goaltender. Now as we go over to recap, let's have new takes there, guys. Well, there's one way I have to tell you now. The Buffalo Sabres are doing really well to keep their offense right away. That secret was a powerful one to try to keep them in motion. They're really like been trying to like keep him out of here just the right timing to do this. And he is like already trying to move their changes. I've never seen how much they were doing it. And because all that happens to now, because the goaltenders really come up to make a good save out of it. But all of those turn out, they were really doing a lot harder than they did. Yeah, I must agree right now because they were really like pulling the pressure on them. But they were really like trying to like move it up to a muscle. It's a great way because the Toronto Maple Leafs have been really keeping an eye on a struggle. He scores! Chef Skinner! That's his first goal of the game as an error comes up for the Leafs. You can tell that way because the Skinner was given off that loosely and then what happens right now, you give it back to Skinner. I guess that it was a tough one to say, but that was a great one that they were trying to keep him out of this as such ability that they were going over it. That's a great connection they have to give it back to a touch and then give it over again to another player in bounds. That one gives it over again to Jeff Skinner and he just finally got that. Johnson the fire it sends it on makes a save. 17.49 to go in the second period. Buffalo up ahead by three. Now they're ready to do another face-off in a center ice on the left wing. Now for the win. Brody has it over again to Riley. Riley takes his way down towards his time, now into the Buffalo territory. Knees has that puck. In the attacking zone. Try to give it a little bit of the puck loose. Marner recovers it. On a shot, Levi save. Johnson recovers the puck here with only 17.05 left to go. And now I might be thinking right now because it looks like the Buffalo Sabres are doing a lot much harder than they were. I never seen what's going on happen like that. But let me say that this was a perfect one to try to keep him out. Just the same time. I'm knowing it and I know the feeling. But the Buffalo Sabres have gotten great intentional speed. They're making that one go right with it. Middlesex shots blocked as right now he recovers it and Riley has it again to Brody. 6.05 left to go in the second period and Brody's on his way down to the Buffalo Territory. On a shot inbound, Johnson gives it again, again to Middlesex. Well, 15.45 left to remain, looking for Weave Zone. Tempson now takes a save. He's stuck with it now, he's going to give everybody to clear it out to start for the next faceoff. Still a lot of time left in the period. It's still a 4-1 lead over Toronto as Buffalo give it a good run. But the win puts up here for the Leafs as Cortano will have that puck. Giordano over again to Nylander. He now finding again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi lost that puck and Berturka has that one recovered. He's trying to turn him out. Trying to make a middle out of it and sends him out such a save. Viterka, rebound the game by Benson, sends it on, saves it again. Under 15 minutes remaining in the second period, we try to get over this and take them out. Both teams are set ready to take their face off with their time, as right now it's still a 4-1 lead. Tavares wins the face off, as right now Paterzi has the puck. He's now over into the right wing. To Tavares shot, that one will be ejected away as Johnson gives it back to Olafsson. Olafsson right over into towards the middle, fires a shot, and Samsonov takes a save. Gertrude gives it over to get into Veers. Tries to stop by and bound, and Severs keeps on pushing. Spins him around. Tries to go in the middle. Greenway takes it over, and Olafsson on his way down. Two on one, flat opportunity break. Valley across the boards. Gertrude grab it back. Well, I'll say, we'll take the inside, and the safety comes away by Samsonov. Well, that one really went wild, and I don't know what to tell you now, because that is a hard one. It maintained its pressuring, it is slowing it down, and they never really wanted to get away with that. That's another big stop for the goaltenders to keep on bounding. And two teams still in the faceoff right now, with only 13-10 to go in the first period, the second period, excuse me. Brody shot, left by Levi. 
And right now this will still be enough to get another face off ready. Just only 13.04 to go. Now with the win, Brody shot. Bumped it away by Levi. He'll be right over to get a Brody. Loses that puck. We cover by Riley. Full pressure on the leads. Domi finds Riley on a shot. Rebound again. It's denied by Samuelson. Skinner on his way down into the Buffalo to the Leafs territory. Back a pass. Touch shot. Gloved it up by Samsonov. They waved off with the hat trick as Jack Crock has that puck. Tries to go with a big bound. Rebound again. Levi stop. He's going to take his time right now with just under 12 minutes remaining in the second period. Now over to win for Milstad as right now Benson has it across. No penalty on the call for Toronto Maple Leafs. And Samuelson gave it back to Dalini to Paterka. Now finds Samuelson. He looks it now over again to Dalini. And Middlestad right into the left side. Gets swiped up again by the defender. Already had that puck recovery and now back to the Leafs to the Buffalo Territory. Middlestad takes it over. Now for Benson. No open look here as Riley has that puck in bound. On his way down with a one-on-one -on -one shot. That went way wide off the mark and it goes right back to the Leafs territory. It went really hard. And that one really went right around it because of that corner. It would gotten so fast and wild to leave the zone out of here. That is like a wicked shot. And it's just going to be a runaway to try to keep him out of here. Here's Benson right here, Tom towards the right wing. And now Paterka to fire the arc. Stop made by Sensenov. Past the midway market period, and it's right now Klingberg with the puck in possession. Matthews carries it offside, and this will be Toronto Maple Leafs, and they're ready for the faceoff to do it again. I never saw what happened because the Paterno was blinding up. That made him heavy contested right away. I mean, no one but you call for that. That's like a very tough one to take the release. Now I'm going to win, as Klingberg will have it again to Laxen. He now has it over again. Krebs takes it back. Behind the puck. Into the mutual bench territory. Johnson has that puck. Now we'll swing it over again to Greenway. Greenway on the cut and bound. Trying to go for it in the backhand. Over again to Krebs. Krebs on the shot. Samson on the save. 9-1 to go in the second period. As this one still comes in ahead. Now they're ready to do it our face-off. In between of the Buffalo Sabres and Verde Toronto Maple Leafs. And they are putting a lot of face-off wins for Toronto Maple Leafs. They are doing a lot. And I must say that this was a very tough one to keep that eyes on the spirit. Nothing that you really can't tell. I never just saw that one coming right away. That's a hard one to maintain a pressure if the Buffalo Sabres wanted to win that face-off. Really badly. They're still back again as right now it's still 4-1 lead for the Buffalo Sabres. For the win, here's Power. We'll have that puck inbound, trying to power his way forward into the Leafs territory. Loses one. Mitchell Marner will have it again to Matthews. Matthews pass to the knees. Nice on the puck. Rebound and step away by Levi. Johnson has that puck here right again, and now it goes over to Power. Power get to Olafson. Olafson looking his time off. That was blocked. Olsen gives it again to Krebs. On a cut and bound! And stopped by Sefanov as Lexin takes it over. Nylander on a puck chain and now finding Matthews. Here's Klingberg in the middle. Finding it to Nylander and a shot point up to Matthews. Stop away by Levi! Two times save and denies him. This will be up for our next one with just only 7.13 left to go in the second period. Now on our faceoff gets ready to come back into the Buffalo Territory. They put up a win as McCabe gives it again to the Giorgano. Johnson has that puck and right towards the Buffalo Territory to the Leafs Territory. He will fire it out right toward around the net. McCabe's got the puck. Toronto back in transition as Bertuzzi has it puck in with settling. In the middle! Levi with a pass save. Giorgano finding Bertuzzi on his way down. Puck is connected. Disconnected and run as Touch has it. 
touch with Swin, swept out. De Beers with the puck, 6-10 to go. De Beers around the net. Johnson trying to keep the puck out of here. De Beers trying to look over again. Shot stopped by Levi. Jersey can get the near end and he scores. That one turns to be another goal for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're back down by two. Looking again because of Bill William Nylander really got that one a great look. There's no option because that happens to be one of them. If you give a pass off, you got to do something else. And here's what happens. He has nowhere to go. And that one puts a save. And now watch what happens. He went towards back. And he had that goal right away to try to beat Levi. That was tough now because the William Nylander he may not win a great assist to try to pick up the level points for him. That's a good setup to make the Toronto's changes to have it all. Now over the win, puts up for Levi, and he has that puck in. Just 5 three left to go. Block the shot. Robinson with the puck right into the back. Trying to get to go over, Levi stop. Brody fires the shot. It's the pluck it off the skate and leaves the zone. Five minutes remaining in the second period. Still a 2 4 to 2 game. Jay Brock passes over. Cousins with the puck. He gets slammed down right near the blue line. Riley pushing his way to a pursuit. The pass out to Jay Brock. Lost that one as Samuelson gives it over to Benson. Benson looking his way down. Tries to go for it. Tams it off. Oh, he got a lucky there as Paterka goes back again to Middleton. He had that reaction. I never noticed that this was going to be happening. Like, Samson off, he was almost going to lose it. He almost lost that one, but it's a great save to try to take all of his response. It's like, wow. Here again, the Mavs. And Mortar stopped again by Levi. 3 3 left to go in the second period. And now over again to Paterka. Paterka finding his way. To beat the yard, shot stop made by Sentinel. Three minutes go by in the second period. Just only Marner and now Freddie Matthews. Marner recovers the puck, loses one, and now back to, to again to Dolene. Deep pass to Greenway. Greenway into the Buffalo to the Leafs territory. That shot gets blocked and it goes back and Sentinel makes a catch. 226 left to go in the second period. A 4 2 run. Official game set here, ready for another face-off into the Buffalo to the Leafs territory. Tavares takes the win. As Klingberg has it over again to Nylander. 2.15 left to go in the second period. Now over again, here's Nylander. On the back away chain, Levi makes a stop. We are under two minutes remaining in the second period. Still looking for a goal to get back into it. There might be one way to make a change off out of them. And there might be a change off if the Leafs may have that one to go with the pressure feeling. They may have another chance. Because that might be another way to get right right behind it and they may not be able to get in front of it. Because if they do, then they're going to get, get uh, bangled out to go with the closeout gap. They don't want that to be out here. Not even anybody doesn't want it. We don't want anybody to get hurt because that will be a bad call. Here's Greenway right towards the, the blue line as Krabs are battling it. One minute remaining in the second period as right now Tavares will have it. Moves around again and returns his shot, he scores! They're back down by one as he has 93 of his goal. Fifth goal of the season and this one coming in big. I never noticed that Tyler Paterzi was really getting an overness. And this one, you give a back pass over again, you make a wraparound, and you make that goal right toward it in the net. That turned like it's going to be a close one. Tobias had that one with a great pass. He made that with good assist. I got a good feeling after that one because of Tobias really made a good backhander switch motion. He wanted to make that creation, and that one did so that it doesn't get a puck steal right away from it. That turned out they're big there, and they're looking for another one to get to tie the game. So we'll both allow this goes. We're going to go right from the slot. Back to you guys. Laxton battling along with the puck. Final seconds of the second period. Here's Klingberg. Kick to Camp. Camp trying to beat the bus beater. And it's fine. It's power with that block shot. 
And that's so ends here. Two goals for the Maple Leafs. We'll get to the third period when we come back after the break. We are all set for the third period as we're about to bring things on with a puck face-off. And I hope you having fun here too, as this one was a fun night here in Buffalo against the Toronto Maple Leafs in the Battle Connection. He scores! Jeff Skinner at his second goal of the game, 335 for his career. And Pop keeps continuing for the Buffalo Sabres goal. No, they did not one feel that good. And you know what, Jeff Skinner, after you get the pass off to him, that really had to be turned like it went passing through again, right over to Samson off. I never saw how this was going to come out like that, but that was a great goal. With that one, it's a 5 on 3 for the goal as the Volvo Sabres are up by 2. Now for the win, Boris and Matthews to give it over again to Matthews. Tries to look back, Levi stop! The lead with the back down again to Skinner. Skinner right over again to the right wing. He finds that one here, nobody look open. And Skinner will have it now over again to Dahlin. Dahlin to Cousins. Shot stop again near by Samsonov. Skinner trying to do it again for three. Cousins about to scores. There's a go ahead goal. And Cousins had that one with the first goal for 32 goals in his career. They send a run. And it's now a 6 3 lead. You never see what Dylan Cousins was really getting us uh, well, that far. And that one really just trying to like step it in. He got him pretty bad when they tried to take in connection there. And that one turned to be like it's a go-ahead goal. That's a great look for Jeff Skinner and give off to Cousins. They're doing a lot much better than that. Now for the win, he gets off to podium and will have that puck. 18 for the in the main. And Levi, what a great save! Stops the bucket with 18.34 left to go in the third period. Dylan Cousins and her team are looking fantastic here and on ice for their rival games. Cousins wins the faceoff. Dolly right over it again in the center ice. Now finds Skinner. Skinner has two goals with Alex Touch. Those two guys may be looking for a third goal of the night. Knees. Tries to look him down, trying to get to Matthews. Samuelson takes the puck. Skinner on his way down. Beating the ice one, and now finding Riley over again to Nylander. The Leafs are back in the offensive territory. Hey, the smash hit! That goes back over again to Millsap. Oh, that one turned to be like a hit clean on that one. That went really hard. Wow. Nylander with the puck now in the middle. Tries to beat the out, 10 man rush. And it goes blocking, clocked away. Riley again to the Beavers. Shot by her, Steely by stop. Millsack with the puck and now finds Dalin. Now finds Benson. Benson tries to look over to Millsack. Shot! Pretty much saved by Sensenov. Nylander again to Riley. But Turco lost that one as Birdie takes it over. Now back to Turzi. The jersey lost that puck. He covers it. Saved by Levi. And a shot was right toward the wall into the corner. And now finding her way down to Olafson. Olafson fires a shot. It's directed over right by the board. The jersey gets it over. Now battling with the puck again. The Sabres will have it. Now pass again. Greenway on the backhand. Really it stopped by Sazanov. Just about 15 10 to go in the third period. No power plays are given by the Leafs and the Buffalo Sabres. Dozy wins the faceoff. Olafson now again to Robertson. Robertson in the middle. This one goes with a rejection. Blocked it away as Johnson will have it again to Olafson. He's out on the attack. In the middle slot. That shot stopped by Sensenov. Giordano with the puck now into the Leafs to the Buffalo Territory. Jankov trying to pass him by, and this one has get clogged up. Buffalo Sabres back in offense now as Johnson will carry it. He just shot the power. 
Power changing it over again to Burrow. Bureau right into the right wing. Trying to go with the back hand. Trying to make a move, but it's stopped made by Sensenov. You know, that clear one for Burrow. He may have had that one to go with the backhander. He really wants to do that. Other players seem to do it the right trick, but it looks like it's a hard one to maintain it. It's not really easy when this one is going to try to like go in towards the net. In the back of the shot, it's going to be a hard one to try to take. Off post that went down, and now back again to the Leafs. McCabe with the puck, now finding Warner. Deep pass to Matthews. Matthews on his way down to the left wing. Shot stop again by Levi. We can send it right now to Burrow. Burrow tries to make another move. Does something else? Not enough to make there. I sense it up with the save. Near on the midway mark of the period. It's still a 6 3 lead for the Buffalo Sabres with 12 13 left. Waiting for Buffalo. Johnson C. And he went down and the puck leaves his own as Clifton tries to regroup. Here comes Such. Tries to keep the puck out. Like said, we'll have that puck here now again to Warner. Give over to the knees. Lost that puck and it goes right over again to Buffalo. Johnson will carry the puck around. And now Alex Such will have it. He finds again to Johnson. He now into the right wing. Trying to give him a cousin shot. Trying to give it out of here, but it's Klingberg with the puck take away. On the fast break trade, Klingberg loses the puck possession. Skinner now finding Johnson. And now Touch will have it over the deep pass to Cousins. Looking to get two. Here it comes Skinner and Bill Ducks off the goal post. Oh, that was really that close. I, I don't think, I don't think he really didn't make that one with the goal in time. But that's going to be a hard one to take. Levi covers the puck with only 10 or 6 remaining in the third period. After rehydration, now they're ready for another faceoff in the Buffalo territory. Waiting for the Leafs, Riley shot. That one stood up and we got a penalty call and this will be on Buffalo for Benson as he makes a tripping call. Well there's one and now this is what happens to be a troublemaking. He only had one goal, but that was all he had. He just did try his best, but this is now what happens now. He's in a penalty box. You're going to have to make him credit for that. The Maple Leafs will have their first power play advantage. Because right now this one will be past the midway mark of the period. And a win for the Leafs. And a shot! Stop by Levi. Still holding on with under 10 minutes remaining in the third period. 6-3, still the score. Still ready to get them to open space since right now they're looking for another face-off win to take it from here. Now for the win, here's Samuelson. Clears the puck out and he will have it into the Leafs territory. Matthews with the puck, deep pass again to Domi. Here's Riley on a full break chain. Backhand shot stopped made by Levi. Leafs still have their possession. Clifton will have that puck in range. Able to take it out and will be bringing it back over again to near the net. Matthews back again to Riley. Now finds Domi. Domi trying to race it across. Krebs with the puck. Fires it out. Matthews will have the possession and now finding Jay Croft. 43 seconds for the Maple's, Maple Leafs power play. Domi trying to look around. Levi takes a save. That puck carries it into the bleachers, and we're getting ready for an air face off coming in. The Leafs and the Buffalo, Sab Buffalo Sabres are ready to do an air face off. 6 to 3 is still the score to be, and the Buffalo Sabres are the best ones in a rival matchup. Well, they're always that clear, and they made that one a lot harder than they are taking it over. This pressure is a tough one to be. And here's a shot! Levi makes a stop save! Whoa, man, the fans are going right wild for Levi to put up another save. Looks like he's ready to get out there. And Benson comes out of the penalty box as this one will expire for the Maple Leafs power play. They really are good, and I'm going to tell you now, they were a really on a hard muscle inbound. They've really done a lot much better than they're 
playing with the other team that they already have lost against in the first season against the Los Angeles Kings. That was the last one that they have in courtesy with the mind. But that blowing said, they are just trying to go over this with another new situation. It's definitely what happens now. They're trying to go for another look. Here's Hawks touch. He scores! Here come the Hawks. Alex touching his third goal of the career. There it is, Alex Touch finally receives his hat trick, and this one was turning to be a trick move. Watch this. This one turns like he was right around it, but Alex Touch knew he finally had that goal, and this one was a turn out to be a blowout. Easy to say there, guys. Alex Touch made his third goal of his appearance. He finally made that goal, and he knows that he's done the best. Touch says, all I do is help their team encourage me. It's all great, and love to hear for Alex Touch's reaction. He finally has three goals. What a happy being for their hat trick motion. McCamp shot, saw away by Levi. How did Adam Samuelson will have that puck? He's now on towards the right side, and he will now have it over to Cam to touch. Looking to get four, and it's Sam Samson off with a save. Here's Marner, he will have it again to Neves. 5.47 left to go in the third period. His Cousins will have that fucking position. With Turco on his way down. Looks for more room. Alex Touch trying to take a seal. As Giordano with the puck recovery. Marner with the puck. Leafs on his way down to the attack. Matthews on his way down in the middle. Darlene gets it again to Paterka. Paterka onto the right wing. Goes down and goes bangs off to the boards as Mitchell Warner will have that one carried out. Now here's Toby in the middle. Trying to beat the goaltender. Rebound again. Stop by Levi. 4.33 left to go in the third period. And it will do another face off on its way. We have a winner at this point. Let's send you down against the Beast. Rasmus Dolini was a really excellent all time performance run. I have a lot of encouragement to do all of it. They are just doing it big. He scores! That will be Riley, as Morgan has that one with his first goal. Here, not giving up here. That one really has to extend now because Morgan Riley had that one with the look angle opener. And this one really has to see with the C and I vision, and it just really make that five goals count. That easier it took over here, it just really hard to make that set. Over seeing the eye and the vision, and passing the goaltender, it got really well on it. Maple Leafs are back down by three, as right now he will have it again in the middle stat. 4 13 left to go, as Dems Benson has it. Recovers in the bound, save me, comes up by Samsonov. Robinson over it again to Riley, and now finds Omi. Domi back to Jenkrop. He now finds Riley. 3.45 left to go, fires away, and he goes with a save me by Levi. Benson gives it over again to Dolene. Dolene in a cut switch. Tries to go with a beating, and that one goes wide as Samuelson takes a recover. Rebound by Jen Crock, and now Riley will have it. 3.10 left to go in the third period. Dolene finds Brody. Now over again to Robertson. Robertson looks, glove save by Levi. 60 shots in the goal for the Lemay Maple Leafs, with only 2.51 left to go. Now they're ready to do it our face off. Just 2.51 left to go. The win for Buffalo Sabres will resume. Samuelson tried to get to Olafson and now Dolene will have that puck to Krebs. Krebs in the middle. Try to find Olafson. Samuelson with the glove save. Nylander on a shot. Stop by Levi. They'll lean back again to Olafsson with just two minutes remaining. Here's Riley, he'll have that puck. Get the pass to Nylander. Nylander in the middle. Loses that one as Deline takes that one with the puck seal. Number turnover for the Toronto Maple Leafs and now back the way it goes. Jersey has that puck with only 125 left to remain. Buffalo Sabres able to answer back. Here's Krebs with the puck. 
One minute remaining in the third period, and this one is finalizing the go with the clock approachment down to the end of a regulation. Raleigh will have it again to Kretz. Now finds Greenway. Matthews takes the puck steal, and this one goes back to Greenway. Clears out of the zone as Darlene Hay will have it again. Pass back to Cousins. Cousins in the cutaway chain. And the cab will have it. And the fans are all standing up. They are bringing on with a win. The Buffalo Sabres are on a pressure deny and a Levi stop. Just the last face-off remaining in between the two as the Buffalo Sabres are having a fun night here in Sabre and New York. Now Power will have that puck. And he loses that one. And that will end here. Sabres win the game 7-4 over the Maple Leafs. And they are the full pressure to make another huge win to beat the rivals over the Canadian team. They're really all for a pair of one to be Lee. As for Levi, he really does it all. Great to have that one here. And Levi, he's the best perfect player to go for the goaltender of the night. We all salute to the fans as right now this one comes to the end. And we bring up to a farewell and good night. Yep, that's when it all happens. Just to enjoy it if you can. This one is a fun one. We all thank you for enough. Farewell. With me, Sonny Beast, along with OJ and Lightful, this has been a presentation of Rival Week. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. All right, thank you so much. As right now, we start off with three star players of the game. There are no third star, no third star of the game. As right now, Alex Hutch, he finally receives three goals. A hat trick comes in alive. And that one puts up assist and three hits. And your first star player of the game, Chef Skinner. Two goals and three assists. He got him really well in it. And Levi was the third star of the game. They all been turning out to be a great team than ever before. Here's how he did with the total statistics. 62 over 49 for the total shots of Toronto. And it was 44 over 34 for Toronto. Then 647 with a timeout attack. 90% for the Buffalo passing. Got him really well at it. But the Leafs had 33 face-off wins over 16, and the penalty kill was only 2 minutes for Buffalo. No power play goals for Toronto, and no penalty kill has been made. So it looks like that this was a fun one to make. We'll do another rival of ones to keep an eye on that one before the Stanley Cup playoffs comes in by. If you enjoyed this game, please consider yourself liking this video, subscribing to his channel, and also leave the icon notification bell to put it on to so it's the best way to support for the channel. In the meantime, Paintbrush is out of here. I'd like to thank you all for watching and peace out folks for a while as a rival week of NHL 24 dial on EA Sports. See you all next time. Take care everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.